In this video, we're going to discuss the Multimedia Sciences Equilibrium Simulator. The Equilibrium Simulator illustrates visually using colored molecules for both reactants A and B in reddish colors and products C and D in bluish colors, the process of reaction moving towards equilibrium. Included are four experiments which utilize four variations of the simulation. The simulation allows different equations of the form A plus B equals C plus D and different concentrations of reactants and products at the start of the reaction. In the experiment, students derive the equilibrium constant equation and use Le Chatelet's principles for concentration, temperature, and pressure. Answer keys are provided and handouts are provided for each experiment. The simulations could also be used as a tool for further student experimentation. So here are the four experiments that are provided. Uh, first one is the determine of the equilibrium constant. The second is the changes in concentration. The third, the exothermic and endothermic changes in temperature. And the fourth experiment, changes in pressure. Let's start with experiment one. All of the simulations are similar in the way they work. What is different is uh, what information is provided um, and the inputs that are allowed. So in this particular situation, we're trying to determine the equilibrium constant. We can decide what equation that we want to uh, investigate. We can then change the number of reactant molecules. We could also add product molecules, although um, that's a bit more complicated. There are help screens that we'll talk about um, each part of the simulation. If you move your mouse over it, and unfortunately I have to start over again. So then we see we have the number of A, the number of B. We're going to start the simulation. And you can see that the reaction will take place. The reactants will turn into products. You might notice that the reaction will not necessarily come to an exact uh, end because of the fact that we have a very small number of molecules and therefore uh, equilibrium might be on either side. So there are times when you're going to get this kind of uh, two possible answers. Let's take a quick Here is the um, first experimental handout. Uh, this is the answer key. Um, in experiment one, uh, students uh, put a couple uh, values of the concentration of A and B, uh, take some data, and then are asked to come up uh, with a bunch of mathematical relationships and see which one of them um, seems to predict the equilibrium constant. And then in part two, they look at another uh, potential equation. Um, do the same thing, doesn't work. So we go back to the drawing board and say, well, maybe not only do the concentrations uh, have an effect, but maybe the exponents. So um, students take some more data, check out um, exactly you know, some possibilities until they find the one with the least percent R. And then from that, Hopefully they can come up with a rule that works for the um, equilibrium constant and continue to run through some questions and ultimately um, understand what the equilibrium constant looks like and how it can be calculated. 
go back to the main menu. Um, the other experiments, as I said, are similar, except each one has a different um, set of um, shown values. In this case, uh, the equilibrium constant is set. Let's look at the same um, equation. Let's set some values. And let's say, well, what if the equilibrium constant was 0.4? And then we'll start the And in this case, you can see that the simulation is showing um, the equilibrium constant equation. And again, you can see that it varies back and forth because of the low number of actual molecules. This is the second uh, experimental handout where students um, take a bunch of data of a given reaction and change the equilibrium constant and see exactly how the equilibrium constant changes and then that leads them to uh, the prediction of how the equilibrium constant changes when the concentration is changed. Similar thing for the um, change in temperature. Uh, again, we're going to use the same equation. We'll put in some A's and B's. And you can see the temperature here is um, set. Okay, now that we've got the uh, reaction to reach equilibrium, we'll now change the temperature. I'm going to make it go down to 3. And then we'll start the reaction again. And you can see that the uh, temperature changed uh, back towards its original value again. Um, We could do the same thing with an endothermic reaction. Uh, we have experiment four. Put in the same values. We'll start the reaction. Wait for it to reach equilibrium. And then we will change the pressure. So we're going to reduce the pressure. And then we're going to start the reaction again. And you can see that the pressure um, went back towards its original value. So these experiments um, and the experimental handouts will allow students to uh, figure out and uh, show all of the aspects of Le Chatelet's principle. Here is a, a look at the answer key for experiment four. Um, experiment three is, is similar. Of course, it has to do with the temperature. Um, some multiple choice questions, data, some more questions, and hopefully uh, they can get to see that the um, changes are always in the same direction and come up with uh, Le Chatelet's uh, conclusion. Uh, experiment two is the most full-bodied of the simulations. Um, using this, you could uh, you know, probably uh, come up with other experiments, uh, other handouts for the students to, to use the simulation. There are some instructor's notes, which um, discusses the 
experiments, uh, suggested use, some uh, comments on the simulations and the way they work as far as equilibrium or equilibrium not being reached. There are a couple situations where equilibrium will not be reached. Uh, you have to look out for that. Um, description of each of the four experiments and some discussion on how best to use um, the experiments. So this is a great simulation. If you want students to see a consistent uh, uh, viewpoint of uh, Le Chatelet's principle and all of its aspects, uh, it's very visual, allows students to see the changes in the uh, molecules. Uh, you can look at a number of different uh, equations. Uh, you can change the equilibrium. You can change and add product. Um, so that again, there's a lot, lot of uh, powerful ways that you could use this, uh, this simulation in your classes. Uh, certainly, I'd be interested to see um, what other teachers come up with um, in other ways of uh, using the simulation. So if you're interested in uh, finding out more information about Multimedia Sciences uh, Equilibrium uh, Simulator, or you'd like to see any of the other Multimedia Science materials, physics and science uh, games, challenges, labs, and simulations, there's also uh, game making teacher tools. Uh, please go to teachers, pay teachers uh, at this URL. And thanks for watching.